My name is Fran. I'm 19. I always think it's important that young people are heard, but especially in the pandemic, it's quite a difficult time um, to be in adolescence or entering adulthood. Our sharing parking is virtually from a disability point of view. I feel like hopefully coming out of the pandemic and the year we just had, I feel I really feel like as a disabled person we've been ignored and overlooked. So it's great to have a chat and be like, hello, we're still here, don't ignore us. I would love to ask you both a little bit about your experiences over the last year of COVID and of lockdown and how that's impacted you. I had um, quite a strange experience because when the pandemic started, I was in year 13, so I was about to sit my A-level exam. And because of my um, cerebral palsy and chest infections I've had in the past and that kind of thing I was aware that if I caught the coronavirus it could affect me um, more severely but this was before shielding lists or anything official like that so I felt a bit in the dark as to what I should do and then um, one morning I woke up to a tweet from a friend who has the same disability as me um, saying that cerebral palsy had been added to the shielding guidelines. But because of hospitalisations I'd had for um, chest infections and normal viruses, I felt like I should make the choice to shield. This was on Tuesday morning. And the previous day I would said to my friends and teachers, like, bye, I'll see you tomorrow, like, have a good evening. Um, and then other than on my results day which was also a weird and strange experience but I never like entered the school again. Uh, look fortunately for me I don't have breathing problems so I didn't need to shield so although the pandemic didn't affect me physically. I think it took a toll on my mental health because overnight I went from a busy working independent 30 year old woman to a person with a disability who had to have carers essentially. So it took me a while to go, no, this is okay. It's a bit rubbish, but let's has got to be what happens for now. Yeah, I can imagine that that's a um, big adjustment to get used to. Are there any of the um, youth manifesto policies that you're most passionate about? They are all brilliant. The one that about me the most is about stopping hate crime and just getting rid of let able views and language. Like you, I think I'd 
internalised a lot of um, people's views of disability that I needed to do better and that I needed to um, work harder um, to fit in when really it's society um, that needs to change. Many people um, in Gen Z, my generation, many young people don't feel listened to. And I think also a lot of that is to do with um, negative stereotypes around young people in general. I think if young people's voices can be amplified and listened to through this um, manifesto work and similar things, then hopefully those perceptions of young people will um, change. I, I really feel like the younger generation are underestimated and like you said ignored a lot. Thank you for this chat, it's been amazing and it's so great to Zoom meet you. Thank you, it was lovely to um, meet you too and I hope you can get back to your live gigs soon. Yeah, one day we'll get there.